Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about reductive emanation. Uh, so it turns out that imines can, can undergo uh, reduction reactions like carbonyl compounds and other multiple bonds. Uh, and so, for example, uh, imines can be reduced by hydride transfer reagents, much like the ketones and aldehydes they are uh, synthesized from. And the product of those reductions is an amine. And, and the mechanism for this reaction is going to be very similar. Nucleophilic attack at the carbon, those electrons shift up to the nitrogen proton transfer to make the neutral compound. Amines can also be reduced like alkenes in, by uh, catalytic hydrogenation. But in this video, I actually want to talk about a process called reductive amination, which is a process by which we have uh, we form the imine, so I'm going to just talk about the same imine that I've got going on up here. We form the imine, and in the same reaction, we have a hydride transfer reducing agent. Uh, and you might be thinking, but wait a minute, all the same, this, this reaction happens in acid, and all the hydride transfer reduce, reducing agents react with acid. Well, it turns out there are a couple of acid stable hydride transfer reducing agents. And this is one of them, sodium cyanoborohydride. And this reaction can, in one fell swoop, convert uh, an aldehyde or a ketone into uh, the imine and then reduce that imine directly. Um, and I'm going to show you this mechanism of this reaction. I'll show you the whole mechanism because uh, you don't need to see the uh, part of the mechanism that involves formation of the imine because I have uh, already covered that mechanism in a previous video. So starting from the imine, uh, the first step in this mechanism is actually protonation of the imine. Uh, there's a couple of key requirements for this sodium cyanoborohydride. And one, it, it's acid stable, so that's good. Two, it's also a weaker reducing agent than, say, sodium borohydride or others. And that's important because otherwise it would react with the aldehyde or ketone. And we don't want it to react with the aldehyde or ketone. We only want it to react with the imine. Yeah. And I'm just going to be generic with my proton here. Yes, the proton is attached to, to the imine or to the, to the amine that is present. And so it requires an activated electrophile in order to react with this reducing agent. And here we have it. Uh, I draw out my hydrogen boron, hydrogen, hydrogen, and then the cyano group. And so the cyano group is an electron withdrawing. And so it shouldn't surprise you that it makes uh, the, the borohydride anion a weaker nucleophile because cyanide's electron withdrawn. Okay. Uh, but the mechanism itself goes by nucleophilic attack at the carbon atom and then uh, shifting of the electrons up to the nitrogen. And so this is also different uh, from other hydride transfer reactions. It happens on the protonated species which means that the outcome of the react of the hydride transfer step is the neutral amine. There you go. Okay. Um, I want to just highlight the other reagent that some chemists use for this specific reaction. Uh, so I will just I'm actually just going to use my same example. Here, acid aldehyde ethylamine to make diethylamine. Uh, so in a case where we use acetic acid as the specific acid, uh, you can use sodium triacetoxyborohydride. Uh, and this is made actually by just dissolving sodium borohydride in, in acetic acid. Uh, it, three of the hydrides react, but the fourth one does not. And so again, it's a weaker acid stable reducing agent, uh, just like sodium cyanoborohydride. Okay. Mechanism is the same, except it's, it's a slightly different hydride reagent. Uh, before I wrap up this video and this, this video series on imines, I just want to talk a little bit about the scope. 
This reaction uh, clearly works on aldehydes, as I have shown. It works on ketones. It works when uh, uh, amine, you know, when we use ammonia instead of an amine. It works. Um, it works on, you know, it works in in cases uh, where let's let's draw an out. Let's do this aldehyde. It actually works in cases where instead of forming the imine, you would form the the enamine. So let's draw this case post in the, the reducing agents. Actually, works out just as well. Um, that because the enamine is in equal under acidic conditions, the enamine is in equilibrium with it, the protonated, the aluminium kind of salt, uh, and it works out just fine. It works even even in combinations that you think like you know benzaldehyde didn't react with secondary. Uh, you know, it works in uh, work that react with secondary means because there's no hydrogen. Actually, I didn't want to delete benzaldehyde. Let's just use a simpler dimethylamine. And you know, I want to use the, let, let's use sodium cyanoborohydride this time. And, and again, this reaction works out. It you generate, so you can generate uh, secondary means primary means, tertiary means, all through this route. The only, the only limitation is that tertiary means, because they don't, they don't react at all without a hydrogen ketones, tertiary means don't undergo this reaction. Uh, but otherwise, this is a really versatile way to make all kinds of different means of different substitution patterns. Right? So uh, this concludes my video on reductive amination and my sequence of videos on imines. Thank you for watching.